What's up guys, Brayden here with Super ATV and today I'm going to show you how to install Super ATV's aluminum roof on this CF Moto U-Force 1000. So let's get right to it. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab our gasket out of the kit. As you can see, we have the bottom side of the roof sitting up on our table here. So we're going to take our gasket and we're going to apply it across the upper lip of the front portion of our roof. This will go just like this. right here and then we'll just go ahead and peel the excess off. So with this being the bottom side of the roof, we're gonna have the seal portion on the top. So it's gonna be coming down through the top of the roof. And then on the bottom, we're gonna have a lock washer. So when you separate these, it's gonna look something like so. so Barrel's gonna be through. And we're gonna have a lock washer on the bottom of our barrel here. So it looks like that. And we'll snug it together. So that's how it should look. Again, with the seal on the top and then the lock washer and the bottom side of the barrel on the bottom. So now what we're gonna do is couple the rear and front portion of the roof together. So just to kind of get this started and get it held in place for us, I'm not gonna put the lock washer on yet. We're gonna get a couple of screws started. So this time we're gonna install our lock washer. So this machine has already been equipped with a Super ATV roof on it. So as you can see that we already have our foam installed to our cage. All you're gonna wanna do is take your foam out of the kit, run it right along the channel here of the cage, across the front, down the sides, and then along the back, just like so. So if you have a rear windshield installed in your machine, you'll wanna remove it at this point. If not, you'll have these factory bolts down through here. You'll just wanna go ahead and remove them. And then if you do have a rear windshield, what you'll want to do is install the roof just like so. So you'll have your hardware going through your rear windshield bracket, and that's going to go right through our roof into our factory threaded holes across the back side of our cage here. So we just had these kind of hand started into the cage there just for reference. Yours would definitely be tight on your machine, so you would need to use some hand tools to get them removed. So now we're going to install our roof to our machine. So now we're going to install our hardware to our roof. As you can see in your kit, you're going to have some black spacers that are kind of shorter. They're going to be three quarters of an inch long, and you're going to have some longer spacers. These longer spacers, you're only going to utilize those if you have a Super ATV glass windshield installed. As you can see, we do not. We are running a flip windshield from Super ATV. So we'll be using the shorter black spacers with the shorter Allen headed hardware for our front three mounting positions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spacer and our hardware. And once our hardware is through to the inside, we'll just go ahead and start a nut. Now we're gonna grab our short spacer, our hardware here. Our spacer is gonna go in between the cage and the roof. 
our hardware is going to slide down through the spacer and we're going to put a nut on the bottom side. So now we're going to reinstall our hardware. We're just going to install it directly through the rear portion of our roof here. Just want to try to keep that bracket as straight as possible. If you are utilizing a rear windshield, if you're not, then you can just go ahead and fully tighten the hardware. Now we're going to go ahead and fully tighten all of our hardware. So like I said before, you want to make sure that these brackets are good and straight when you go to tighten them. So once you've went through, fully tightened all your hardware, that's all there is to it to install Super ATVs, heavy duty aluminum roof on the CF Moto U Force 1000. Be sure to check the description below to pick yours up today. And while you're there, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.